I'm going to put the zipper on. Let's go wide. At this point, have the bag, the zipper on both sides. I'm going to fold it over. Now, I'm going to tell you about those two marks you want to. Let me pull it off this side. I'm going to cut away all this little string. Now, the zipper, we got to get the zipper on. And we got to try to get the ends of the zippers lined up fairly the same as we had before. We had those other marks. Should I actually put the other marks on the other side? But let's see. Probably should have put the marks on this other end. But all right, I got the zipper on. Let's see how it lines up. Actually, I hit it dead on. Now, these zippers take a little lubrication at first to wear themselves in a little tight. But what we have... is a bag. Zipper along the top. What we're going to do... I'm going to put it down. I'm sort of going to crease it over a little bit. Right through the center, make it a little more manageable. Next part of this is going to be sewing the ends up to seal the two ends of the bag. I'm going to stop now. i got to go make dinner. Let me stop now. Uh, it had a little... we got to sew up the end. And squish the bag down so it's fairly even. Can you see that? Yeah. Then it is we're going to roll over the edge. Put a little clamp there to hold it temporarily. Roll over the two edges. Put a little clamp there to hold it. And then go ahead. And actually, the distance. The zipper, you did, I didn't really want to sew it all the way down, so I'm going to cut it back a little bit because it's going to end right in line inside the bag here. We're just going to set that inside. So I just cut the stitching. Yeah. Found another staple. Aha. Alright. I'm cutting the stitching. Because I want that that inside that bag. We want it's gonna end right around here. Alright. We fold this over all, actually four layers. I'm going to put up some staples here to hold it. And I'll keep it out near the outer edge. Out near the outer edge. Uh -huh. Find another staple. Oh, nasty staples. Forgot about the staples. Let's go through and get all the well, if you leave them in there, the most that'll happen is you to rust a little bit. It won't hurt anything, but I'm out of this so you don't hit them with the needle. And we know at times you usually miss that. Let's see, then all the staples. There, got all the staples out. Alright, again. We're rolling it over. I threw another staple in here to hold it together, but I'm staying out near the outer edge. I don't want to go in too deep because the 
let's get this. Alright. Alright. Cut a little bit more in on the zipper. Shove that in a little bit more. So I get a nice roll over here at the end. Now, ready to sew up this end. The only thing you gotta watch sewing up the end is, keep in mind your last stitch in is going to be the stitch that's going to be on the outside. So what you want to do is, I'm going to stay the sew out further near the end. That's just to hold it all together. Then I pull the staples out and then I can do my final stitch. And my final stitch in, I want to try to keep it fairly nice and straight here. And then I probably put around a couple more stitches. I want that held together good because that's going to, that there's some strength involved there. All right. Let's sew that. Funny. And that I'm going to be coming this way, but it doesn't really make that much difference which way you sew. As long as it works. Now, I, I try to pivot it off that point. All right, let's see how this goes. Turn the light on. Yeah, it looks like it's so. All right, let's see how this hard sewing from the reverse rather than in. Let's start over again. We got the one seam down, one line down, sewing down the line. Now all we got to do is put two or three more down the line. And uh, this end will be done and then we go work on the other end. Alright, let's see if I can get this working without it jamming up. Two seams down. I'm going to try one now as close as I can run it in. This last seam, I'll run it in even closer. Now I got all 40s roll over, you know. I mean, you could go fancy and roll it once and then roll it again so you wouldn't see this cut edge, but you know. Let's see how I do. Now, again, this one. I want to try to keep it straight and this will be the furthest one in because this will be the one row that's all the way through and that's going to be that finished seam. If you want to go ahead and reinforce the ends and, and throw some more stitching down at the end to finish the end off, flip this around, got this end all sewn up. We'll go through and cut off the extra little threads and all that, but this end sewn up. We got to sew the other end up, and that should be it. Let me go ahead. For one of the reason you want that three inches, so you got the material on the end to sew. Otherwise, 
through sewing right up against that rubber. And then it's a pain in the ass to get close to that rubber pulling it away. Let me come down. machine in reverse and backing up so I'm really sewing heavy here. This is how you want to finish off the corners. Actually you want to sew that fairly heavy. So it doesn't come undone. What you do is you're gonna well second last thing is trim off all of the extra string that's up here on that loose string. Got a bag. Just to show you what this folds up into I mean you can actually roll it. tie around it to hold it together. You're still going to have, it's going to be fairly thick. Keep in mind there's a lot of rubber in there and if you go with the thicker rubber it's going to be a lot more rubber in there so keep that in mind. You know, the more rubber you put the thicker the thing's going to be and the thicker it's going to fall out. But I mean it, it's fairly stiff and like I say we'll do uh, the test with the ice. Last thing I do is we got to cock the inside of this thing to seal it. Get a couple of boards, prop it in there to hold it open. Now, let's see what this looks like. On both ends, right along this, you have a seam where you've sewn, where these two inner layers are together. What you want to do now is cock that inner edge. Put some boards in here to hold it apart while it sets up or while you're in there cocking. Once you get all the cock in there with the cocking gun, you can pull the boards out and let these flap together. Now, you want to get, let me get the cocking. All right, what I have here is a multi-surface adhesive sealant. It's a silicone, but you want an adhesive silicone. Not just a silicone, but you want an adhesive. I'm going to go in and I'm going to cock the two seams. Now I'm going to cock the heck out of it because I want to make sure those seams, it doesn't leak through those seams. So I'm going to go in. Now there's even a little flap of this. I'll even throw some on there just to glue this in there. Keep it out of the way and keep it in there. Go ahead, I'm going to go and cock the other side. Cares. It's going to be on the inside. Last thing I do is I sort of take my finger and sort of push it in to make sure she's in there good. And then it's attached to both sides in there. And my finger right down through that seam. Make sure that silicone's in there good. Last thing I do. Pull the boards out. Actually close up. Pat it down a little bit. Pat it down a little bit. And let that silicone set up. Bag's done. That's it. To be honest, but I didn't have trouble and I had to have trouble with the machine. The machine's starting to go. You get a hang of this. Well, if you sew, you should maybe be able to make this bag in two hours. It's, it's not that hard to make the bag. Keep in mind, this bag now, I got a six foot by two foot bag. Now, what I'm going to do is let this set up. Saturday I'll go ahead, because i um, got to work tomorrow. Saturday I'll go ahead and I'll put bags of ice in here. And, and what time? Room temperature, how long is 70 degrees in here? How long it takes, how long will that ice last in a bag? And I'll let you know. Let's go over what we did to make our bag. Got hold of, we'll use this as an example. We've got our 
covered nylon. Like I say, I, I use 18 weight. They use an 18 weight. This is the thickness of the material. You could use less. You know, I'm, I'm going to have all of the different prices and everything on. That's your call. But we cut out two pieces. Let's imagine this is six foot by four foot six. Went ahead and we had our insulation. Put our insulation, we put it in. Put another layer of material the same size on top. Went ahead, staple it around the edge. We sewed all the way around the edge. Then pull the staples out. Let me get rid of the insulation. Now what we did was, we, stapled, we, sew, sew, we sewed it all the way around the edge. Then we went ahead after we sewed it all the way around the edge, to, took the one lip on a six foot ledge, rolled it over, sewed it so we have a nice edge. Took our zipper, put our zipper down, sewed our zipper along that edge. Once the zipper was along the edge, we did both sides, put the zipper together, so we had the zipper on top, folded the end over, and sewed it. And we ended up with our bag. Now, again, if, if, if you want, or if, if you want to try it, 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 it works out. You can take one layer of the material, whatever size bag, you get, you're going to get a sleeping bag. I got three of them in the attic from the kids when the kids were in Boy Scouts. Take the sleeping bag. You can make an envelope, just one layer of this material, the same size. We're going to say we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sew it without any insulation, just one layer, zipper across the top, the ends will be over, and we're going to make this the same size as the sleeping bag. So you can open up that sleeping bag, put it in inside the sleeping bag. You put your ice or whatever you want in here. Zip this closed. Go ahead, zip the sleeping bag. This would be inside a sleeping bag, which actually will keep it. You know, sleeping bag keeps you warm. It actually will keep cold. It stops the heat transfer is what it does. If you get a leak or you puncture this and it gets in a sleeping bag, throw it in a washing machine. You can wash the sleeping. I mean, this is go, you can go real cheap with the old sleeping bag in this because, I mean, five bucks for the zipper and depending, again, what you make the material out of, use what weight you use for material. I'll go ahead and post everything on a DVD of where I bought everything or where you can buy everything and the prices. Um,